hi everyone welcome to yet another interesting lesson in today's lesson we are going to solve this nice olympiad maths we want to find the value of x solution we have 3 to the power of 2x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of x plus 2 everything equal to 90 so here what we do first is to split this and this so we have 3 to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 plus 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 equal to 90 then from here we can rewrite this as 3 to the power of x into brackets then to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 plus 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 equal to 90 now let 3 to the power of x equal to a now we equate that we have a squared multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 which is 3 plus a then multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 which is 9 equal to 90 now we bring this 90 to the left hand side we have and rearrange this so we have 3 a squared plus 9 a minus 90 equal to 0 then we can divide all through by 3 divide by 3 divide by 3 divide by 3 then divide by 3 and this will give us a squared plus 3a minus 30 equal to 0 now this appear to be a quadratic equation so we are going to use the quadratic formula to solve for a so from our quadratic formula we have a to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now we insert the value of a according to this will be 1 then b will be equal to 3 and then c will be equal to minus 30 so if we insert this value we have a to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of square root of 3 squared minus 4 then a then my minus 4 multiplied by 1 which is a then multiply by minus 30 all over 2 then multiply by a which is 1 and this will give us minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 and this give us 
plus minus times minus plus uh, 4 multiplied by 30 then we have 120 over 2 the addition of this will give us 129 that will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 129 over 2 that will equal to A so this means that A has two value when it is plus and when it is minus so it implies that A A equal to 3 to the power of x then we substitute the value of a we have 3 to the power of x equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 129 over 2 if we take the log of both sides we have log of 3 to the power of x equal to log of into bracket minus 3 plus or minus square root of 129 over 2 so we can bring this x down to the base we have x log of 3 equal to log of into bracket minus 3 plus or minus 129 over 2 then we can divide both sides by log 3 we have divide by log 3 then divide by log 3 this cancel out we have x log into minus 3 plus or minus square root of 129 all over 2 then log over log 3 and this can be written as if we have log of a over log of b this can simply be written as log of a base b so to put this in this form and this will now become x equal to log of base b then minus 3 plus or minus square root of 129 over 2 will now be our value of x this will be our value of x so we can compute this value to determine our value of approximate x another method to solve this is to write this as x plus x we split this then we have plus 1 then we have plus x 3 to the power of x plus 1 then plus 1 equal to 90 such that we can factor out 3 to the power of x plus 1 so this can now be written as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x plus 1 then plus 3 to the power of x plus 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 equal to 90 and if we factor out 3 to the power of x plus 1 we have 3 to the power of x plus 1 into brackets we now have 3 to the power of x plus 3 3 to the power of 1 equal to 3 and close the bracket equal to 90 now from here we have that we have that this can be written as 3 to the power of x multiply by 3 to the power of 1 into bracket 3 to the power of x 
plus 3 equal to 90 and here we can write this as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 this one goes to 3 then into bracket 3 to the power of x plus 3 equal to 90 now we can divide both sides by 3 divide by 3 divide by 3 so this cancel out with this and this divide by 3 will give us 30 so we have 3 to the power of x into bracket 3 to the power of x plus 3 equal to 30 from here we can we can let 3 to the power of x equal to t such that t will be greater than 0 t must be greater than 0 so we now transform this to this we have t into bracket t plus 3 equal to 30 now this is written as we multiply through we have t multiplied by t we have t squared plus 3t equal to 30 then we can move this 30 to the left hand side we have t to the power of 2 plus 3t minus 30 equal to 0 now we can solve this quadratic equation with the quadratic formula so this using the earlier um, method what we used to find our a so from here from here so we can conclude that our t as well is equal to this so we come back here we have t will then be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root 129 over 2 so this will be our value of t and which means t has two value of minus 3 plus square root of 129 over 2 or t is equal to minus 3 then minus 129 over 2 so here we let we recall we recall that our t earlier 3 to the power of x equal to t so from here we equate this to what we have so now I have 3 to the power of x equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 129 over 2 so according to what we have we have that our log of 3 to the power of x now the left hand the right hand side log of into bracket minus 3 plus or minus 129 square root over 2 now this will now be given as this will now be given as x log of 3 equal to log of into bracket minus 3 plus or minus 129 square root 129 into brackets and s will be equal to log of base 3 into brackets minus 3 plus or minus square root of 129 And this will be our value of x so there we can compute the value over here and if we compute the value s can approximately give us the value of 
0.0169 okay that's the value of x thanks for watching do like the video if you enjoy it do subscribe to the channel and do turn off and do turn on all notification bell for future lesson or for future updates of new interesting lesson and i will see you in the next one thanks bye for now don't forget all the tips we have followed to solve this uh, solution and keep trying keep improving your math skills and we'll see in another interesting lesson bye